All right, guys, you know how I, I am usually attracted to shiny objects, but in this case, um, I am not. This is this is a this was a crime. I have to say it. This is a beautiful old Wilson Bohan and listed on eBay. Uh, I picked it up not too long ago, but somebody had listed it as cleaned and oiled, and you can see they took this thing to a buffing wheel. All the fine detail, all the edges that are supposed to be sharp, are all they've all been buffed out in the wire wheel. In fact, on the top here, even the holes where the shackle goes, they, they've been walled out nice and wide now. Should be pretty easy to get a shim down. Most Wilson Bohannons you can't, but this one, man, you could walk in there beside a shim, I think. And the part that makes this really saddle is when you flip it over, you can see it belonged to a railroad. And if you look up SAL, it stands for Seaboard Airline Railroad. Actually, Seaboard Railroad started out in 1832 and they... They renamed themselves Seaboard Airline Railroad in 1900, and they finally went out of business in 1967 uh, when they sold out to CSX. It's kind of a funny name for a railroad that never owned a single aircraft, and that's because back in the day, before aircraft, the word air or the words airline, two words, represented the most direct route between one station and another, basically as the crow flies. And most of their stops, and they, they ran from Virginia all the way down to southern Florida were all straight shots, and so therefore the name airline. Um, this has been totally devalued as a collector's item for a couple reasons. One, they've they've just ruined the lock by buffing all the edges off of it, even the keyway. It's just terrible what they've done to this thing. Also, it has a key that's been it's, it's horrible bidding. I'll admit that, but you can see that this is an impressioned key as well, not even the original key. But it does work, despite all of the damage with the wire wheel. And typical of most Wilson Bohannons, it can go counterclockwise or lock that back up. It also goes clockwise. So it does work. I'm looking at this here. Most Wilson Bohannons, there's not enough room up here in order to shim. But because they wallowed that out with that buffing wheel, I think if I can find a shim, we should be able to squeeze not only a shim down there, but I can skateboard down alongside of it to get inside of that keyway. Maybe even by hand I could push that that paw out of the way. That's something you sh shouldn't be able to do with the Wilson Bohannon, but with this one you sure can. Let me lock it. Oops, move all this stuff out of here. We'll lock him back up. It's quite a strong shackle spring. And let's see if we can pick this guy. This is not about shimming or complaining about historical objects. I get it. But it's just kind of disturbing to see what I think is a piece of history ruined in about two minutes with on a buffing wheel. All right, I think that will work. And I will use this little guy from Sparrow, a little hybrid. So slide him in, a little bit of tension. And we are in. That is all there is to it, probably because of that poor bidding and all the years of wear on this thing. Anyway, guys, there you go. The Seaboard Airline Railroad Lock from goodness knows when, 1900 to 1967 sometime. This thing was made and stamped and just recently ruined by some seller on eBay. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Stay away from that wire buffing wheel if you have anything historical. Thanks, guys.